for those who don't know, I have uh, a side business. It's my side hustle, and that is Phoenix J Cosmetics. And I actually thought this would be a great time to just talk a little bit about that. Like, I don't think I talk about it enough. Um, there are people who know I do it. Uh, and I have like definitely like repeat customers who get their orders and do their things and the things. Um, but for the most part, I don't talk a whole ton about it because I'm actually in this metamorphosis phase with it and I'm growing it a little bit differently. So I'm actually fin finishing up the mixture of this current formulation that's called liquid gold. I have two orders for liquid gold and I'm actually, I wanted to tell you guys about this product and what it is and how it came about and how we got here. So. Um, I actually started this company, uh, let's see, it's 2024. So I started this company in 2022, it's two years old, um, actually as of about right, right about this time. And when I started the company, um, I have always had like this fascination with skincare, with the mixing and the matching of different lotions and getting the right feel and getting the right smell. And, um, as I got older and I was more independent, I was buying my own things. I really started experimenting with ingredients and essential oils and botanicals. And like, even now I have like a collection of probably 30, 40 essential oils, 30, 40 botanical extracts, like everything from aloe vera juice to go to cola extract to rose flower water and rose flower extract. Um, Allen Toen powder and hydrolyzed collagen, like all of those things. I, I have all of the things and I'm learning so much um, as, since I've started the company, but even leading up to starting that company, um, for me, I had just this fascination with taking care of my skin and, and having the best kind of product, the best quality product I could. And I began to to learn that there's so many things that were in commercial products that just really irritated my skin because of fragrance it was one ingredient that said fragrance or parfum and that could literally be 200 different things combined into one and that's not always bad because a lot of our favorite fragrances are chemical synthetic fragrances that would fit into fragrance parfum area but it was one of those things that I realized my skin didn't love and if I couldn't really eat it I probably really shouldn't be putting it on my face um, if I couldn't get right to the, the natural derivative, the natural form of it, I probably shouldn't be ingesting it. Um, and if I couldn't simplify it down to where I knew exactly what it was, then it's probably not something I sh should trust right now. And sometimes that, you know, it, to each their own. I just noticed for me, I have oily combination skin, combination with dry, depending on the season, sensitive it used to be acne prone it's been a journey <laughs> this has been a journey but what i've learned is that taking care of it taking care of our largest organ taking care of it is so important to really the overall health because again it is our largest organ and when you don't take care of your skin it shows and i mean i don't know if you can tell my lighting is not the best but you know i could probably pass for you know 24 you know 23 well 22 you know maybe not 18 it might not be giving 16 but it's not giving 47 either. Okay, so, um, and, and part of that is genetics and part of that is care. So here we are. Um, I get to this point where I start this LLC. I have this business and I'll be honest and say it hasn't progressed to the place that I, I would have hoped it was, but I also knew that juggling a full-time job and full-time life responsibilities, and it was a lot. It was a lot. And I got to a point where I was, so I was, like, I'm, I'm at a different place in my mind now, but I was so caught up in the things that I wanted to create. And as an Aries, we have a really bad habit of initiating and not following through. But I had all these ideas and I had all these things that I wanted to play with it. And I wanted to um, um, to build and to try and to to research and to develop. And I wanted to do all of these things. And at the same time, I also still had to survive. So now I'm in a position where there is enough time if you make the time. And so I'm in a place where I'm making more time for the things that I want to grow. I'm watering them. I'm weeding. I'm, I'm putting a little fertilizer on it. You know, I'm doing more research. I'm, I'm, I'm watching a show that's specifically about this, a documentary. I'm reading a book or I'm listening to a, a lecture. So uh, again, I'm always pushing lifelong learning, um, that lifelong learning journey. That's a big thing for me. And I'm always pushing it. And Ultimately, it led me to skincare, and it started with me making little things like primers, which is how, which is why this is Phoenix J Cosmetics, is because I do also dabble in creating cosmetic products. Whereas I don't wear really, I don't wear pigmented cosmetics. It's not really my thing. 
I don't really do a whole lot of heavy cosmetics. I do have people in my family and friends who do like to beat their face, you know, and I started thinking, well, if you're putting all of this on your skin, there should be some type of barrier that you create. There should be some type of healthy barrier. And I learned about primers. And so I created a natural primer and I was giving it to coworkers to try and they were loving it. And I said, okay, this is something I really should invest more time, invest some money in and try and start slowly getting off the ground. And it started really going in this kind of cosmetic skincare direction. I was excited to take it to a place where it was going to be palettes and it was going to be this, that and the other. And God just has a way of really shifting you. And it shifted for me in a place where it was like, I was told, do not be vain. This is not about your face. This is about your spirit. I was like, a little oil, a little cleanser, you know, a little, a little serum. This is about my spirit. And it's like, I began to realize if you take 10 minutes a day to do a nice, simple skincare routine for yourself and you affirm love and you affirm You know, faith and you affirm joy, you affirm happiness and you affirm wealth to yourself and you affirm beauty to yourself and you affirm love and worth to yourself. Then that 10 minutes is more than just 10 minutes of putting on lotion. You get what I'm saying? Like if we're taking the time to really care for ourselves when we do skincare, when we really care for ourselves, I think that there is a direct reflection between skincare and self-care. Like I think that when you do personal care that there is an easy way that you can easily take it to a spiritual place and to a self-care place and that's what it became for me is like I wanted to create a space that was safe for anybody to dapple in skincare and cosmetics but also to introduce people to the botanical side of things definitely still use science I'm inspired a lot by k-beauty those who aren't familiar with Korean beauty they shows out the Korean beauty industry and I will also say I love of course black owned businesses when it comes to learning about But a lot of the black owned businesses that have grown and have reached a certain level are like really cosmetic, really heavy on color cosmetics. And you don't see as many big black skincare companies. Um, There's a few out there, though. And so for me, I wanted to create something that was based on um, botanics that still had a connection to science as things like K-Beauty do. Um, but also that was an experience. I wanted it to be a sensory experience. I wanted the color to be natural. I wanted the fragrance to be natural. I wanted the feel to be superior. And I also wanted it to be accessible. I didn't want it to be expensive. So I'm like, how can I manufacture this for the least amount possible so that I can charge the least amount possible, you know, and still, you know, make a profit because it's a business. So that is where I started with my first real deal formula. And this is her here that I'm mixing up. Um, and getting ready to bottle up, but this is liquid gold, and this is a proprietary blend of 10 oils, 10 carrier and essential oils that come together, and they create this harmonious mixture that just goes under the skin. It is a wonderful moisturizer. It's great to use in your first step of, uh, uh, like, if you did an oil cleansing method. For those who aren't familiar with that, that is you start cleansing your skin, maybe breaking down SPF, dirt, dander um <laughs> beard drift uh makeup with an oil or an oil based um um uh like a, a it's not a cream uh what do they call it there's another name for like oil cleansers but the, a balm there we go like a balm oil based balm you can take those warm them up or take an oil warm it up and you can massage this into your skin for like 60 seconds and it helps break down um, the makeup and break down uh, the, the SPF, the sunscreen that you worn throughout the day. It breaks down the this, this sweat. And because it's oil based, people with oily skin, this is a great this is a great product for you. People are like, I'm oily skin. I don't need to use facial oils. Not necessarily true. You can definitely benefit from the oil cleansing process because most people think because you have oily skin, you need to strip the oil away and get down to a base level and then do your thing. That is not true. Oils need to be removed in a healthy, natural way. And the reason that your your skin is probably oily, besides genetics, is usually in response to what you're doing. So if you're removing that oil in a really harsh, um, like intense way, the oil is going to come back like this because your skin's like, oh my gosh, 901, I have no oil. Like I'm dry, I need to do something about this. So it's going to produce even more oil to make up for the oil that you remove, and it becomes this ridiculous cycle where you end up noticing clogged pores. You end up noticing um, if you're acne prone, your acne is going to flare up. You're going to have a hot mess of a face. So. Trust me, people who have oily skin and you're trying to figure out how do you better take care of your skin? How do you better deal with oily skin? An oil cleanser at night 
followed by a gentle foaming cleanser really light that's what you need to do it's going to balance your skin out just perfect for nighttime and your real intense clean cleanse needs to be at night after your day is done your morning routine should really outside of those who are doing makeup and the whole thing your morning skincare routine of wash tone moisturize and, and protect four steps 10 minutes max it should be super quick and it really is more like five minutes so don't shoot the messenger